just reached the ashram in Devanagari, and I just sitting down to prepare for this lecture. Our security calls me and said, "Vinaya Patil came." I knew her from from two thousand nine. Vinaya Patil, yes. So I said, "Okay, ask her to wait. I'll come." So I prepared this today's lecture, and then I went to meet her. Vinay Patil was working for the United Nations, the most correct, corrupt. Uh, did I say corrupt or correct? I, I just getting confused. Organization in the world as a volunteer. And as we were talking, Vinay Patil told me, "I tell you, first time I'm seeing you yawning in the evening time." As from early morning, I'm from here running to Indranagar, Indranagar back to here. I'm driving seventy kilometers, seventy kilometers. So maybe I'm tired. Hmm. She was telling out of ten videos what she watched. Eight she couldn't hear what I'm saying. Maybe the sound was not very clear. Now you have to tell me. <laughs> Saul Bellow, born in 10th June 1915, Montreal in Canada, died on 5th April 2005, Massachusetts in the United States of America, was a Canadian-born American writer. For his literary work, Bellow was awarded the Pulitzer Prize, the Nobel Prize for Literature, and the National Medal of Arts. He is the only writer to win the National Book. Award fiction three times, and he received the National Book Foundation's Lifetime Medal for Distinguished Contribution to American Letters in 1990. Saul Bellow said, "I want to tell you, don't marry suffering. Some people do; they get married to it and sleep and eat together, just as husband and wife." If they go with joy, they think it is adultery. <laughs> to what my seven hundred and ninety-one days? This was the word, and it was simply salt below. Years back, I was shocked. Yes, I want to tell you: don't marry suffering. And she said, just like husband and wife. That means she knew husband and wife. There is no love. The love has been disconnected between the husband and wife, except the greed, jealousy, suspicion, backstabbing, lying, robbing, cheating. All these were the fixed deposits carried, and then trying to take interest out of that. Yes. All this happened. I want to tell you, Saul Bellow said, "Don't marry suffering. If they don't suffer, anybody and everybody. I see. I, I don't take tea. I don't take coffee. I got sugar problem. I got diabetes. I got gastric problem. I got BP problem. I see. All these were fixed deposits. Just a matter of cleaning the pipelines. People do not want to clean the pipelines. They want somebody else to clean the bomb. Sorry." Somebody has to clean the pipelines, and when the child was born, and during ch childhood time, the parents clean their bum. So they think the pipelines also somebody will clean. They are thinking the doctors are the parents who cleans the bum. So they refuse to clean the pipeline. They refuse to fast. They refuse to eat fruits before meals. They refuse to drink water. They refuse to sweat and do exercise, stretching exercises. And then suffering is thy name. And everybody wants. To, and then when they marry, and if the wife is going to be happy, then the husband will start suspecting. If the husband is going to be happy, the wife is going to be suspicious because everybody should come and tell only suffering stories because that has become the food. I want to tell you, don't marry suffering. Some people do. Not some people. Saul Bellow. Every 
people. Yes. And the gurus are who? The Swamiji's are the gurus of suffering. Who are the gurus? The teachers and the prophets and the lecturers are the gurus of the suffering. The priests are the gurus of this suffering. They all enjoy because in that suffering only the churches and the temples and masjids are enjoying and benefiting. If there is no suffering, who will go to the temples, the masjids, the churches and the other places? You tell me. You were forced into that. You believed. They get married to sufferings and sleep and eat together. Shintarikil tell, eat and sleep together. My husband and wife eat and sleep together in the name of suffering. Yes. And they hardly have any love relationship, any love making. It is one way traffic. Wife said, tell husband, hit and run. Hit and run is his case. Rape. Both together will not come to a conclusion like how the Japanese business people talk and talk or they don't talk. They just pour, keep pouring them. Green tea. They don't pour into their cup. They pour into the opposite partner's cup when it is empty. And the opposite partner will make sure that they pour it into his cup and they keep on drinking and hardly any discussion. That should be the way of husband and wife. Husband pours his love and fills up, fills up the cup with the love and she enjoys it up and then she looks into the husband and fills it up and when both arose to reach a stage then only love making happens. Well, that means you have to do your warming up and your stretching and you start sweating. Strike when the rod is hot. Goes the stay saying, isn't it? When the stone is so much of a stone, the highest temperature, the gold melts and then only the goldsmith can make varieties of ornaments. At that point, that point has been destroyed by the industrial revolution. And now we have Russia, two superpowers claiming to be clowns of this world, making people go around. Yes, correct and corrupt are very closely related. Are they correct, corrupt or correct? The churches, the temples and much, all has become these two, the yin and the yang, correct and corrupt. They said correct yourself, but they corrupt yourself. Corrupt and correct. What are, are they confusing me with the correct? Corrupt. The total system is corrupt and people believe it. Yes, that has become the gospel of truth. They get married to the to eat and sleep and eat together. Sleep and eat together in that suffering of the correct and corrupt of the churches, temples and masjids, of the Russia thinking and the America with the NATO thinking, corrupt, corrupt and correct. And they destroyed Ukraine to be a nobody and still Ukraine is thinking there is something left. It's like how India is thinking. After 6,000 uh, years of slavery, 600 years by the Muslim invasion, 200 years by the Dutch, the French and the uh, Portuguese and the English, India is still thinking, no, we have to suffer. Yes, there are many, many people, I am poor, not pure. They kept on telling, that is where the corrupt and the correct comes. I get confused. People are telling, I am poor. They did the church teaches you, the temples teaches you, the masjid teaches you, taught you that you are poor. Don't they know the language? Pure, poor and pure. People come and ask me, Rakum, Samuji, Babaji, Guruji, your children are poor. I said, no, they are pure, pure, pure. Convert it, correct it, corrupt it. If you don't correct it, you are corrupting. Change that policy. Sufferings. When husband and wife doesn't have that correction, and doesn't love each other. What child are they going to bring up to the society? That child is also corrupt to the core. Not there's nobody to correct. Yes, if I talk in Japanese, Miss Ono Yonagishimas. I went Miss Ono Yonagishimas. Miss, it's very easy for me to learn that language because water is very important. It's very hot. I want to drink water. So I first I learned this miso. So I I I, I keep the miso into my, my mind. So I connected with Mizoram. So I said, whenever I want to 
water. I change, go to Mizoram, so I get Mizo, and I say, Mizo Onegishima, please, can I have water? And then the Japanese go, not, it is not Mizo, it's Mizu, Mizo, Mizu, Mizu Onegishima, Mizu Onegishima, Mizu, not Mizo. Huh. They correct. Here nobody is correcting. Correct. That is all my carpenters are doing. When it is bent, husband and wife, father and mother, keep from me. Mother sits from him and stick in his stuff. Then the pipelines are straight, water flows correctly into our head.